welcome to my channel to my page all those things i'm going to show you guys how i made this one shoulder top that was attached to a dress it's literally like sparkling off this wall behind me so cute So here I'm just showing you guys the measurements that you're going to need for the bodice. And then this is the measurements that you're going to need for the sleeve. I'm going to leave links in the description for like a well planned tutorial from Kim Dave. So here I'm just measuring the bust. I'm measuring the side seam. And then I'm measuring the waist. I think it was like an inch smaller. So pretty easy and I'm just connecting those lines and I'm just drawing in the armhole and then cut Kids measurements or kids clothing is pretty simple because they don't have a whole bunch of curves. Okay, so here I'm adding the measurement that I got for the arm length and then adding the bicep length, the elbow length, and then the wrist length. And then you're going to combine all those lines and um, adding that curve to the top of the sleeve. I'm going to add a well descriptive sleeve um, tutorial in the description box. And now for the lining, you know, you're just gonna use the same pattern that you use for the bodice on this. I didn't add a lining in the sleeve. Um, she didn't want that, but if you wanna do that, you can go right ahead and copy that same sleeve pattern onto the lining. So first you're gonna sew along these lines on the side seams and at the shoulder. Okay, the side seams are now complete, so now you can go ahead and sew the shoulder seam. Honestly, this seam could have been way wider. I would recommend making it wider. This one, it just ended up working out, but I will make it wider. side right now so I'm going to turn it inside out so that you know you don't see the same and now 
I'm gonna put it in between that outside piece. Then I'm gonna grab the seam that's underneath the armhole. Open that up on the outside and then grab that same one and open it up on the lining. See, so that's how it should look like that. This side will look like this, but I'm gonna pin those together. I know my shoulder seam is not put together but I'm just telling y'all the right way to do it. I made the mistake so you don't have to. So that shoulder seam should be in place. So all you have to do is sew around the neck. I'm gonna just say, God really be giving me his wisdom because I've been learning certain things like literally once. How I remember them, I do not know because I don't remember stuff like that. I don't know, if that's how I remember how to do this. Certain thing is beyond me. All right, so after you've sewn it together, it should look like that. Then you got line. You can't really tell what the scene that book seems all line. So now that we have sewn all across here, we're gonna flip it out. It's gonna look like that, but I'm just gonna stick that in there. Now we have a lining. Obviously, we need to steam press the seam out and then you can do I would just steam it because you could do a top fish but you don't want it to look cheap at that point like you know or you can um that was so bad um, or you can you can hand sew it much for watching i really enjoyed making this dress it was very fun and cute and you see she was clearly feeling herself <laughs> but um if you like this video go ahead and like it comment let me know what you think my next video will probably be a little bit more personal because i've been in and out of this youtube thing so i think i'm going to talk about that more in depth and let y'all know what my plans are y'all as in all 50 of y'all yep i don't even think i got 50 I don't know. Bye.